So yeah, I genuinely do understand the sort of pressure you would be under. You're 18, maybe even younger, and expected to know the full direction of the rest of your life. And you just simply feel like you haven't had enough experience, wisdom, even knowledge to have the rest of your life figured out. Of course, this is the age we have to figure it out. I don't think there's a problem with the system in that respect. But at the same time, we simply don't have enough experience. Now take me as an example. I genuinely believed, like, I really did. I believed I had my whole life figured out. Age of 18, I set out to study this degree um, called Actuarial Sciences. And I thought that was that. It was a really high paying job. And I said, I'm just gonna do the job, make a lot of money, life's gonna be good. I studied two years of the degree and I hated it. I knew for a fact, even in my first year of the degree, but definitely by the second year of the degree, I knew there was no way I could possibly spend the rest of my life doing actuarial sciences. And obviously it appeals to some people, but it wouldn't appeal to everyone. And that goes for anything in life. And that's where it gets tricky because you can't ask another person what they recommend for you because they can be recommending it from their life experiences, their personality and their interests. So this is why it's quite pressurizing on you because not only are you getting all the opinions from other people on what to do, but also you yourself have a lot of internal conflict. So what do I advise you to do? And honestly, it's not an easy answer. I want to say it is, but what I've I'm only 22 now, so I'm not that much older than you. But I do believe getting your hands dipped into as many things as possible at as young an age as possible will really give you a better idea on what to do. But if you are a bit older now and the chip is sold, what I have now started doing, so I've changed to actuarial sciences, I'm now studying accounting sciences, a degree, I enjoy a bit more. But they're also doing other stuff, like literally I have this YouTube channel, and I'll be doing other stuff on side like coding, uh, video editing, those sort of things, just to get a good idea of what I truly enjoy. And even till this day, I sometimes have a bit of uncertainty about what I'm gonna be doing. And I know that's not quite what you want to be hearing. But what I imagine I'll be doing when I'm 32, 10 years from now, is I'll still have this YouTube channel going, keep relating, like relaying my story to you, and keep trying to help young men and men a few years younger than me, so 25, 26 by the time I'm that age. So this YouTube channel I believe would remain and I do believe the accounting side of things will also remain. So in other words, I'll be working an office job and have this YouTube channel, have two flows of income, but also just have two things to keep my mind active. And personally, I do think that actually is the best way forward for a lot of us. I don't think any one of us or the majority of us can be limited to one sort of job. We want some flexibility. We have multiple interests, so we want to dip into those multiple interests. I think that's why a lot of us, you see a lot of people online um, saying they want to leave university and those sort of things. And a lot of them even make videos about them leaving university. Now, I don't think it's university itself that's the problem or even like the whole supposed office job life, that's the problem. But rather, that you are stuck in doing one thing. And that's why YouTube off, off there. Again, I'm going to be studying my videos, but I'm leaving that intro now. And it's part of my new authenticity phase or brand on my channel for lack of better words. But I do think people get stuck just simply because or don't like the office job, simply because they are stuck doing the same thing on a daily basis. But you have multiple interests, you're not a one-dimensional person. So, as I said, don't blame the office job. Blame yourself. And that sounds harsh, but have two flows, two things that you can be doing. Three things, even four things, however many you want in all honesty. Of course, burnout then can become a problem. I'm aware of that. But for that, I do think have a quality woman by yourself side. Or even just like a nice friend group, social group really will help you reduce the burnout. I've experienced doing like all these things at the moment now. I have experienced a few short phases, but phases nonetheless of burnout. And genuinely just unwinding for a day or two with my woman 
spending time with us, spending time with friends, spending time with family even. That sort of thing just refreshes you and gives you a lot of energy to get back on track. You see, the thing is, we're all, and that's a good thing, but we're all sent through the school system, not university necessarily, but the school system. And because you've now done school for your whole life, it is like a natural expectation that after which you can go to university. And whilst I still do believe, and I am biased, I know I'm biased, I still do believe that is a good path for many people. I do recognize, and you also need to recognize, that that isn't the best path for everyone. For argument's sake, you might be a really good artist, and yeah, there are art degrees, but you don't need to do an art degree to like sell your drawings, if you hear where I'm coming from. Likewise, I personally believe a lot of like the business-based stuff. Business is a very practical thing. You learn better by doing business rather than learning about it. So it's these sort of things where I then think the prospect of going to university becomes a bit hazy. So, yeah, it's a bit all over the place, I know. But I do have a Discord server below. You can join it and I can try to help you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, obviously, there's, there's so many things you can do, man. And that's, that's where it's getting finicky, especially today when we have like social media and all these new different kind of jobs popping up. So, really... You need to spend some time, and this is what I advise you to do. Turn off your phone, stare at the wall, and just think about what you actually want to be doing for the rest of your life. Chances are for the first hour, two hours, three hours, maybe even the first day as a whole, you're not going to have anything come to your mind as you stare at that wall. But eventually, something is going to go off in you, like, hey, for argument's sake, I want to become a hockey player. It's like, okay, well, cool. You might not have done any hockey yet, but you can learn the skill, see what happens. You don't want to be living a life where you are 70 years old, 80 years old, and wondering what life would have been like had you not gone down the path you wanted to, but rather you went down a path that was recommended to you by someone else who just simply has different personality traits to you. So this is actually a very big decision. I know I'm adding pressure on you now, which is probably the opposite of what you want but really I would rather live with the knowing that I did what I wanted to do rather than living with this thing of saying I wish I did what I wanted to subscribe to my channel if you need help with like the young men problems teenage problems in particular I do address the older boys now and then so I'm 22 I will talk about things like buying a house I'm getting ready for marriage, those sort of things. I know you're a bit young for that at the moment, but I do believe that will also bring value to you because you are going to be dealing with those problems in a few years anyway. But with that said, bro, I'll see you in the next one to become a better man.